What up in this genre, your boy IBS Kelso coming back for another MX Bikes banger. And today, the OEM team dropped their Beta 19 preview bikes. These include the Yamaha and Gas Gas 250 and 450. Today, we test them out on motocross and supercross to see the bike physics, to see if the hype and weight was worth it. If you guys want a chance of getting these bikes early, hit the link down in the description below. That is to the OEM website. You do have to make an account and you have to do a one-time donation of $5. That is how you get these bikes early. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe button, and thank you for clicking on the video. All right, so we're gonna start our testing off here on the Gas Gas 250. Do about two laps on each bike and really just kind of see where we feel, like whether traction wise, and then we're gonna definitely hop over to Supercross as well. Um, just kind of give that initial feeling on both, see where we are. And already off the bat, you can feel the slip and slide of the traction. And then you can also see right there, I literally was trying to go full, full power in that rut and the bike lifted up. So automatically what the OEM team was saying that it's gonna be less traction now, that is true. So I just wanna see what gear is gonna be very viable. If you're gonna have to be in a lower gear, higher gear to feel like the right traction. And uh, bike feels good on whips though, we'll say that. I just wanna also see how these bikes are gonna handle getting into ruts and tight cornering. So instead of taking this full outside, I wanna go for the full inside this first time. See how much throttle I can actually use. Take the outside this time. Good scrub though, I felt pretty nice. Go fourth gear, full outside. Let's see if we can actually keep our throttle control correct. That felt really good. Hold on now. Let's go fourth gear. Good drive. Ooh. Gas gas does not feel bad, actually. Gas gas does not feel that bad. Let's see if we can connect in this tight rut. We were. And that was all second gear. Go up to third. That was all second gear. Let's go up to third. We can get a good scrub again. Let's go outside for this middle rut. See if we can get some bad physics. Kind of had to go out to the outside, but feeling very planted. I feel like keeping your momentum up, momentum up excuse me, um, is pretty nice with these bikes. You just gotta set yourself up, which I'm setting up right now. So I think throttle control is gonna be a definitely big thing for you, but I don't know. Oh, never mind. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> dude, these rollers. I literally was doing the exact same thing I've been doing around the whole track, and as soon as I get to the rollers, my, my bikes just start slipping out. Like, as soon as I went up in the air, it's like I lost all my traction to get back down. So maybe I have to let go of the throttle next time? I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe let go of the throttle? I don't know. I literally just held it wide open coming back down, and that thing was slipping and sliding, and slipping and sliding through that rut again. I will say, like, not necessarily cross-rutting, but getting into one rut into the next, it's like there's, like, some disconnect of... of grip like really bad grip you start slipping pretty easily wow and right there i'm like literally full throttle second gear and the bike's starting to lift up on me like as soon as i lose my traction or like come back planted down so i think throttle control is going to be a big thing with these new bikes and that's going to be something i'm going to be working on i feel like I, I preach it to the choir all the time that you know you need to work on your throttle control and now all my throttle control that i thought i had is probably out the window and it's going to be a new training session but second gear through there instead of like third or anything felt really nice that felt really nice with a rail you can still still see the slip out i want to see this power to the ground if i take full inside Full power to the ground from the inside with a 250. Nice. That felt really good. Let's see what the full rail is. Not bad, dude. Like I said, oh my goodness. Like I said, I think it's just really understanding the throttle controller, setting yourself up. I think your corner entry and stuff like that's going to be really, really the big thing. Let's see if we can get her. Nope. Wow. No Poboso bounce. Felt really nice. No Poboso bounce felt really nice. Definitely slip and slide. That was definitely on my my end. That was on my side. I will say they've outdone themselves. The gas gas feels really good. Gas gas feels really good. Let's get a good scrub. All right, moment of truth to see if we can set ourselves up better for here. You still feel it. Like, you're definitely less traction than what I had yesterday when I was riding this track or on Friday, but... Honestly, overall, I'm not I'm not mad with anything that just happened. It's just a learning curve, but you could definitely automatically see the uh, the change in grip. Like right here, 
you can just feel it. It's wanting to lift up on you. All right, this is the YZ250. I think I'm just gonna go with testing both 250s first and then going over to the 450s. I think that'd be really nice, but once again, the whips feel really great. And I can automatically say that the power band feels completely different than what the gas gas was having. So another dude up that hill, man, you can feel the power just on that back wheel, which is really nice. I like it. I really like it. Oh, wow. Wow. Bike's feeling good. Oh, there we go. There's the, there's the slip out though. There's the slip out. Wow, this bike feels really nice, though. We can go for the inside here. Not bad, dude. You definitely just see it. I don't know if you guys are, are, are seeing it, but it's it's definitely a slip out on the back side. What's this inside looking like? Just got to be a little bit more careful, more cautious. Can't go, like, full in there with full speed. You definitely don't have that much grip anymore. So half throttle, at least connect, and then you should be good. That one right there was on me as well did too much of a scrub but i do want to see the power to the back wheel as again coming from the inside see if there's like oh see if there's like that much loss of traction i think that that initial test right there is just to see the loss of traction to see it's like if we can't gain the speed or we're just slipping and sliding the whole time but we were able to gain that speed right back I want to see the inside again here just connect no bad Poboso bounces. Definitely trying to get, try, definitely I feel a little bit more timid trying to get back on the throttle pretty quickly. I don't know if you guys can hear me like letting, like feathering the throttle a little bit more instead of like holding it completely wide open. Good scrub. Now I don't know what it is, but when you go through the rollers, it feels like you lose all. Okay, never mind. It might just be a gas gas thing. Hold on now. That might just be a gas gas thing. That might just be a gas, gas thing. Wow, bike feels good though. Hug the inside. Still slipping and sliding back there. You can just hear it like the RPMs are screaming at me, dude. Love this line. Uh oh, tough bot or SpongeBob. Man. Let me know your guys' initial thoughts if you guys made it this far in the video of like how you guys are enjoying these bikes and if you already picked them up. Um, they so far feel really good. I'm not getting any really crazy bar drags or like bar clippings in the in the tight ruts. Um, definitely got to figure out what gear you want to be in for no slip and slides, but I was able to rail that completely nice. We can catch this inside. Was not able to. Oh my goodness. Still setting yourself up. It's gonna be the key. Let's see if we can go inside here. Yeah, there's no such thing as uh, of holding it wide open to get into that rut. Let's see what we can do around here. Fourth gear. Oh, really good. Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I set myself up so early to hit that whip, bro. That thing literally turned me sideways, bro. That thing literally turned me sideways. That was actually pretty sick, I can't lie. So the whips, the whips on the bikes feels like, I feel like in my personal view, 10 times better. Like the bikes with the, the aerodynamics for whipping, scrubbing, that is, it's pretty nice, I can't lie. I will say I'm liking the YZ better right now than the Gas Gas. The Gas Gas felt really planted, but this thing it just feels like I can throw it around, dude, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Definitely feeling like Hayden Deegan, and no Kizzy. Yeah, I just feel like I'm keeping my traction as I'm plant as I'm coming down on the track. Like I'm feeling like like I wasn't getting that on the on the gas gas. Like I feel like I was losing all traction. So it's not bad. Let's hop over to the gas gas 450. All right, here on the gas gas 450. I really just want to see if these big bikes, like how the 250s are absorbing some of these big bumps <laughs> and power. I just want to see if the 450s are on the same thing, like on stock setups, because that was all stock on the 250s. So I want to see if the 450 uh, suspension is going to be anywhere near that. So don't really have a setup for anything yet. So I just want to see if that's what it's going to be like for, you know, I guess first impressions. But we'll see. I don't really ride 450s, so it's going to be definitely a change of pace. 
in a different kind of sits, I guess, scene, scenario for me. So far, bike doesn't feel bad. I'm trying to figure out what gear I need to be for sure in to get as much power as I want out of the bike. So far, it looks like second gear is gonna be the move. I do wanna take these bikes into tight ruts as well, so I won't go all outside. I wanna see the slip and slide, to be honest with you, on the throttle. I wanna see how much more I can actually keep on the throttle without it slipping, because it's more torque to the back wheel. As you can see already, the suspension's kind of having a hard time soaking up. And man, the, the bikes literally slipped out of that whole rut of me trying to go around. So that's going to be something that we need to go back around and conquer on the second lap. I feel like I don't want to ride timid because, I because you know, that's not the point of these of this test. I don't want to sit here and ride like to the point where like I'm not literally trying to push the bike, but I also want to just sit here and crash all the time. Like, you know what I mean? Like that. That testing can go like without the foot, like without being seen, you know? The biggest thing here is actually really trying my best to give you some good footage and also make these bikes work because that, that's what we want. But if, like, if I really wanted to just sit here and try to crash all the time, I will and then pick out the like the, the stupid stuff. But right now, this is the biggest thing is like actually trying to ride the bike correctly and give it some go, which literally I have only seen the 250 gas gas slip and slide out of that out of that roller spot like even here even this bike got traction through there so i don't know if that's just like the bike if that was just me or what but like yz didn't have a problem the 450 didn't have a problem either so i don't know but let's go back around as we start to ride a little bit more comfortable definitely trying to keep up throttle control is just super hard with all this power i did start right there with half throttle then went full throttle and the bike actually reacted really better than what i expected and I think that's gonna be the wave now with these the less, uh, you know, oh, inside, inside, yep, there we go. I think that's gonna be the wave now with less traction on these bikes. Let's go for inside spot. I definitely feel like as soon as I start using less throttle or like congressional throttle, bike starts to react way better. So something to, something to think about, something definitely to think about. Let's actually take this outside correctly, see if we can keep the bike Gucci. I had to go half throttle, then full throttle. I don't think I would have been able to make it full throttle. I don't know, dude. Ah, so, many, so much to test, you know? So much to test, dude. I love the whips, though. I will say that. I love the whips and scrubs. Look at this nasty scrub. Yo. I want to see what the inside's looking like on this bike as well. Yeah, throttle control is going to be such a big thing now. Oh, my goodness. Overall, though, I, I I feel like they've put the gas gas in a really good spot. So, huge W to them for bringing out the gas gas, not any other bike. Kind of glad to see a change, especially with the YZ change as well. Um, I feel like the YZ450, I, I don't know. I don't know where it's going to be at. I know last last one had a really bad front issue, to, like, problem and all that, so... Yes, over, let's go over, hop over to the 450 YZ, so. All right, here we are on the 2024, I believe, right? Yep, 2024. Nice. First gear, why not? Bike feels pretty good. Sure it is, dude. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. A lot of spin out right there. We definitely got to set ourselves up better. First gear feels really good to get yourself drive into a lot of these ruts put up the second gear though nice wow dude the why dude the yz's are light bro oh my goodness like you can feel the weight on the gas gas and then when you bring it over to the yz's these things are like so light dude look at this this throw in that thing man oh oh that's on me that's on me okay let me stop let me stop <laughs> that's actually really so sick man what we can do in the inside wasn't able to take that. The slip and slide for sure. Yeah, it's just I, I think really, like I said, man. Low throttle. I mean, half throttle, less throttle, and then you'd be good. Do we feel like going around this corner? Yeah, I don't know, man. I feel like I've already felt the traction, like in the initial, like the initial traction was like I already getting lost so i literally just had to go through half throttle and then back to full so maybe just like half throttle to connect and then you can go full let's 
good scrub. So we can do on the outside here. Not bad. Go full inside here. Good scrub. Nice. Not bad, man. Not bad. I like it. I will say the YZs, I feel like, are my kind of bikes. Like, I know everybody has their own riding style, and some people will be like, oh, you know, I think I like the more heavier bike, more planted. Some people will be like, well, I like the YZ. It's like, you know, more dynamic, more loose, and it might be my flow. So, I don't know. You're going to be... Just, I think that's, like, what's crazy in this bike. They, I think they did this in a very smart way. They gave you a, a heavy bike and a light bike to see what the physics are really going to play like for both sides. So, I, obviously, you get different physics for a heavier bike, and you're probably going to get different physics for a lighter bike. And now you just really play with what you can... With what, like, I guess you think you like better. So, I think that was pretty huge. I think that was pretty smart. I mean, I could be wrong. The gas gas might not even be that heavy. But it doesn't feel as, like, light and, like, thrown around as I can with the, the YZ so far. But so far, the front tuck issues, I don't really see that at all. Let's see what the rail looks like. Oh. Go. Engine braking. Engine braking feels pretty nice. Didn't really have to get on my brakes there. So far, I have seen that too. Like, I'm not really pressing on my brakes. I haven't done that for all the bikes at all. I've barely done it. So, braking is not the biggest thing. You can literally engine brake all the way to this corner. Wow. I, I didn't touch my brakes, not once. Bike slowed down all the way. I almost connected in that first rut. I think if I would have turned more, that would have been so nice. Let's see if we can get this jump. I have. Why is he so far feeling very light, nimble? De definitely different from the gas gas. I definitely want to see these on Supercross as well. Oh, wow. That was on me. Definitely was going way too fast in there. If I would have sold the bike just a bit, I actually would have been able to connect. See what this rut's looking like. So just lighter on the throttle. You guys can see as I'm starting to ride this bike more, or all the bikes, I'm starting to be better on my throttle control it's definitely not from last time so it's definitely gonna confuse me when i get back on the regular bikes today and like do my regular stuff when i do my regular stuff i'm gonna be so light on the bike it's like oh wait why is my bike not moving as, as i was before with these new bikes so oh but yeah it's gonna be a little little definitely big change but go ahead and go over the supercross man it feels really good on motocross all right we're here at arlington i thought this was a really good track to kind of test and i really do enjoy it so a lot of stuff that you can actually test like corner speed and especially coming up right now so we're gonna see how it looks if there's any crazy slip and slide and i've already felt it can we still keep up on the speed though yes we can bike does not feel bad in the rhythm looks like you are losing initial traction so i have to figure that out good drive right there though good drive right there so it might have been initial traction lost by me see what it looks like in the whoops fifth gear feels absolutely amazing and this is all stock ladies and gentlemen i just want to let you be known that that's all stock suspension that i'm rocking i'm very curious to see if i start really messing with setups dude how this bike's really going to react but the other thing i do see is that you know in supercross you really need to keep your momentum up and corner speed is big so <laughs> you know what i mean if your bike's gonna be slipping and sliding like we just saw that's gonna be like a hard thing to adjust to as we come back around again, you can see the slip. I, I, it's hard to keep your speed up, dude. I can't lie. Hard to keep your speed up when the back end is just slipping and sliding right there. So that's going to be a challenge. I, ho I hope maybe it's just the Gas Gas 250. Maybe it's just the Gas Gas 250, but second time around, as the bike's not looking, I, I want to go back around. I want to see if it's literally me or just the bike slipping and sliding. And probably going to have to work on literally just corner entry. Like a full wrap around, yeah. So no matter what, you you have to be a little bit more, you have to be more understanding on on how you're gonna get around a supercross. Cause I can see the bike slip everywhere now. So setting yourself up for corners and stuff is gonna be your probably best friend. You have to literally know that you're gonna have bad traction. You're gonna try to go for a, a crazy small small gap start. So so far second gear feels good though. Full wrap, still sliding. I can feel it just a bit under me. So I hope you guys give these all a test, man. Like, as I'm testing, like, I know I'm only showing about two laps or so of stuff. But, you know, it's just an initial for you guys to feel like what it's going to feel like when you guys get on the bike. But let's go over to the YZ250. 
All right, see if the YZ is able to get anything better than the gas gas, or it might, if, if it's not, if it's not the bike, or like if it's not just the bike, it's actually literally the physics now of the bikes. Might just be the gas gas, cause I got that completely no problem. Messed up the rest of the rhythm, but I wasn't slipping and sliding as much as I thought. Here we go. Wow, really having to stretch it though on the on the really having to stretch it on the YZ though. Gas gas felt really good though in the whoops. That right there was a little bit out of a touch. See if we can literally just focus on throttle control next time around, because I'm really just holding it wide open. See if we can just focus on throttle control next time around and see if like that's just the biggest thing just ha like starting with half throttle get the traction and then drive out maybe that might just be our biggest problem now we got to start working on half throttle back to full and eh, that's so hard yeah i don't know oh that that right there was on me i, I went over the table so that that it's definitely a, it's definitely a thing though like see if it, even if we cut down we can't make that right but I do want to see right now, I've been using the same exact lines. So I want to see what the power is going to look like if we're able to cut down and do something like this. See what the rhythm will be like if I go here. Oh, what the heck? See, that's why I want to test. That's why I want to test. If I go here. Yeah, that's going to be hard. That's going to be hard. I'm trying to get that initial traction if you're trying to do like a double end. So let's see where that goes. Definitely felt pretty nice though through the whoops the second time around. Gonna jump over. Nice. Jump over. Here we go. So it might just be a little bit of testing. It might be a rider for sure. That right there might have been rider. But you can definitely see the initial traction being gone. So more than anything, just what we gotta work on. Throttle control. Too easy. Let's go over to the gas gas 450. Alright, let's give the 450 a go. And uh, really just kind of see what this uh, throttle control is going to be like through this corner right here. Already seeing that. I already feel like all the slip out, dude. Like, I really could not stay on the throttle right there at all. But overall, everywhere else, like I said, feels nice. Just corner speed. That's it. Literally setting yourself up for corners. I think it's going to be way harder now for 250s. It's 450s, you can get away with it. 450s for sure you can get away with like getting on the throttle pretty late um and keeping that but 250s are probably going to be where the most struggle is trying to keep your speed up because like that's literally all 250s you know can do like they they need to keep up on their momentum and speed around corners so it's unfortunate but so far the gas gas 450 feels really nice able to show start up late and still be able to finish over everything that was on me right there kind of got way too low go third gear Not bad. I mean, you can see the slide, right? See the slide, how much more I have to be gentle on the throttle in order to happen. Like, right there was completely gentle on the throttle in order for me to get all the way around. So maybe, maybe that's what I need to iterate and do on the 250s. Just literally that same thing. Start slow and then gain the, gain the traction speed, right? Start slow, gain the traction speed instead of trying to go all out. But if I have to do that, then that's probably what everybody else has to do. So it's almost like I'm not at a disadvantage until I start to learn. But as you can see, as I start to go into these corners with less throttle, then pull up on the on the speed, you're definitely there. So yeah, that's something to really think about. Let's go over to the YZ450. All right, here's our little YZ tester. And I love how nimble and, ugh, dude, the whips are just nasty, but you can see the, see the slip and slide right here too. To me, you still get it though. Bike's got nothing but good grip. I feel like just because of how heavier the bike is on the on the gas gases, you have to be a different playing style, and that's probably what I'm not understanding yet. And that's something that the OEM team is probably picking up. Every bike has its like. I think that's why they gave us. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! They gave us the heavier bike and the lighter bike. There's two different riding styles in here, and like, and they're trying to show you that every bike or every bike pack is going to be completely different in weight, and they're going to react different. So, respectfully, yes, 
Granted, gas gas is heavier, but it might give you more value on more torque, more power, you know what I mean? So now you have to ride a different riding style. And then when you get over to the YZ, it's like, oh, I can just throw this thing more light, more have more fun, but maybe I lack a little bit of power where the gas gas is, right? That's all things that we can do, but more than anything, every bike has the same problem, which is literally throttle control and sliding. So we're all on the same boat there, but eventually we'll all figure it all out. W to being on a freaking 450 and starting pretty slow right there. Looks like first gear is actually my best friend for the YZ as well. Feels like I get a lot of traction in there, so might be something for the foreseeable future. Definitely a little bit different on trying to get to the whoops than the gas gas being planted, so can I get over this? I can. Let's go double. I was going to go for that. Let's see if I can go for triple out. I cannot. I feel like the gas gas probably would have had the power to get that out, but I don't know. So a little recap before we end the video. The rod control is your best friend now. No matter what, you're going to slip and slide. Stock suspension feels so much like really good. Um, connecting in ruts aren't bad. Bikes feel great, man. I mean, gas, gas, heavy. <laughs> yeah, I'm all not, you know what I mean? So just have fun, man. Really give as much feedback. Test out. I know this is just literally, you know, laps to give you guys a general feeling, but let me know down in the comment section what you guys found or what more you guys want me to test in the upcoming future because I'm definitely going to be showing out more stuff. And um, yeah, just kind of see if I can get some setups for you guys to where you guys can really feel better on the bike, whether it be Supercross or Motocross. So yeah, hit that like button, subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys all in the next video. It's your boy IBS Kelso. Pop, 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 pop.